Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the Bill Come Battle video. I think I did outdid myself this time, guys. I made several teams in this video, mainly because it's a little easier than the Broly one, uh, Broly team, but not to say that he's worse or better or whatever, but there's a lot of team options currently on Global to make for the Super Saiyan Ogita. So, I think I have like five teams in total, some of them, you know, varying uh, in terms of good or, you know, not as good, but I wanted to make as many teams as possible for this video for you guys. So, this is my first team. I think this team is going to be very good. And also, you have an excuse of finally using this guy because honestly, I've never really been able to use him because his categories aren't that good compared to the other one, the, the Vegito. Um, I know there's a lot of categories here, but they don't really line up with a lot of the meta leaders currently. And quite some, for quite some time, Vegito was just easier to put on a team. But you can finally have this guy in your team. He's good. You know, in the third slot. We have the two kids. They're very good. And some of these uh, characters on this team have Kamehameha. So they'll get... Uh, they'll work better with Kamehameha on your team. And then finally we have the dodge tank. Oh, we have two dodge tanks. Uh, so we have this guy as well. He's just very good. And also he changes orbs to physical. Which is what this guy wants. So... Um, that's honestly, to be honest, that's really the only reason why he's on this team. Uh, not only because he's movie heroes, just because he can change orbs to physical for the Gogeta. Alright. That's the first one. I think that team is pretty good, but what else can we do? So we're getting him off the leader skill. We're running, only running two of this instead. Uh, this, the Int Super Saiyan Trio. Um, I think their leader skill is very good. And then we can, we're able to run other characters, like... Tefla, who's, you know, very good. The World Tournament, Gohan. He can support super allies. So he, can, he supports anyone here. Uh, they're all super. The Gotenks. If you can get him to his third form, he's fine. And then, of course, Vegito, who's top tier. You probably won't find him on any, like, new LR tier list. But in terms of EZA, he's top notch. Next team. You still have the kids. You still have... The, uh, this uh, this guy here, this Gogeta. And then we have instead of instead of the Super Saiyan trio being the lead, they'll uh, be just in the team. And then we have the New Year's, at least on JP. I like I like to call it this the New Year's Goku, uh, Super Saiyan three Goku. He's on a movie. He's on a movie movie hero, so he's very good because he can counter and stuff like that. So his uh, standby is very good for that. And right, what else do we have? Alright, so this is going to be not nearly as good. Not nearly as good team, but if you want to run Piccolo, the Golden Piccolo, then you have to run uh, this guy or someone else who's on your mat. Um, uh, what was it again? Master Discipline? Um, Bond and Master Discipline. Yep, I was right. So this guy should be under it. I mean, if he's not, then... Yeah, he is. So you can run this, or you could run anyone else who's under Bond and Master, Master, Master of Discipline. Uh, I just chose this guy because he can stun, and there's a lot of bosses currently where you can actually stun them. So, pretty good. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Easy A. Uh, if you have this guy rainbowed, he's a lot better. He's actually really good even at, uh, what it was mine at, 69%. And even with him, I didn't even equip any orbs on him. He was, he was actually pretty good. Even though he was missing a Link skill, which is embarrassing, but... Uh, this guy's really old, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, he's very good. If you have him rainbowed, he'd be like twice as good, I think. This is one team for you guys. And then, I think this is it. Oh, we have, we have, we have more. We have more than five. Uh, so we have, un, we have the Super Saiyan Vegeta, or just base Vegeta to start with. Uh, you may not have him. That's why he didn't include, I did, that's why he's like down the line. And by the way, this, this is not... There's no, this is not a tier list. Not one team is better than the other if they're lower lower down the list. I'm just I'm just kind of putting him here just because you have all these other options in case you didn't have him. Uh, and most of them are is, is the new Gogeta as the lead. But now we're here, we're going to talk about this uh, Vegeta instead. And you'd love to have two of him on your team because he can transform and be quite good. Of course, the Gogeta, the Vegito. I really feel like this Trunks is underrated. I think he is very strong. I've used it. I've been using it for a few months now, and I even where was where is he at? Seventy-nine percent. I think even at fifty-five percent, he'd be pretty good. But seventy-nine percent, 
He does a lot of additionals. He's very strong. And, uh, of course, he's not going to be able to tank everything, but I feel like he is underrated. I think he is quite good. I, I value him quite a little bit more than what most people do, but that's just me. That's my personal experience using him. And then we have the Orb Changer, uh, Goku, of course. And then a unique choice was Broly. I, I understand that four of our four of our six characters are going to be nerfed with his domain. But we also have the, the this guy here who... Um, is the newest sensation in terms of the combination with Broly and the Vegeta because he is very powerful under Broly's domain So that's why I'm including it in this that you have like extra punch Like if you if you need that extra punch now you have it with the Broly um, Super full power Broly and domain and then Vegeta when he's transformed you know, once he's under the Broly Broly domain He's gonna be hitting probably harder than anyone else on this team. I think uh, Depending on your I think depending on which uh Mine's only 55, but he's still quite good even at 55%. I believe this is the- okay, this is the last team. Okay, so we still have the- the, the Vegeta here, but using Broly, Gogeta, and then we have the future Gohan here. Vegeta, and then we have Kefla. So, Kefla is, you know, really good, so... Just had to include her, and then you have two domains to work with. You have two domains, you, so if you don't want to work with, um, if you don't want Broly's, then you can use Gohan instead. Alright, so 11 links, 11 links, 12 links, 11 links, 9, not as good, but I think it's, it's probably because of this guy, he probably doesn't have a lot of links that are active. I'm got yeah, Hero of Justice, uh, Shattering, I guess is okay, and uh, Hero of Justice is probably the one that's, that's, that's lowering this, uh, link, link skill usage down, and then 11. So on average, you're getting like 11, 10 to 11 links active. In total, I think most of, if not all, these teams can beat some content. Varying, varying in terms of content, of course. Uh, varying, but still, I think that these teams are pretty good. I would say these are the best teams you can come up with. I mean, there's there's tons more combinations that you can come up with, but I just wanted to narrow it down to these these teams. So let me know in the comments section below what you guys building for your Gogeta. Um, obviously, the absolute best team, and he falls under his leader skill, of course, Beast Gohan. He fa the Gogeta falls under Beast Gohan's leader skill perfectly. So, obviously, Beast Gohan is going to be the best. So, actually, let's future-proof this video. It's a little long. We're almost at 8 minutes, so I'm going to make this quick. But let's future-proof this. Uh, do I need this team? Not really. Let's future-proof this team a little bit. So pretend that uh, this uh, this guy is the Beast Gohan. Just pretend that he's Beast Gohan. Uh, in part two, of course. So we have Bro we have Gogeta. We have the new EZA. This guy can be replaced by anyone else who's on his Leo scale, of course. I think he's the one that's going to be. Uh, he's the, the interchangeable character. You can change whoever you want with this. Uh, this slot. Then we have these two will be EZA by the time Beast Gohan or a little after Beast Gohan comes out. So these guys will be on the team. I don't, I don't think they're under on 120%, but it's more than fine. 170% is fine. And then you have the the blue blue dudes, uh, who also be easy aid. So those are awesome options for you guys. Once Beast Gohan comes, and you can have him under your laser. Well. So <laughs> this is in the near future. If you want to come back to this video and just look at this, look at some of these characters here. Beast Gohan's leader skill is going to be a lot better uh, once these easy aids drop, and then some other characters may come out uh, as well. But I think you'd want to run two Beast Kohan, obviously. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you, and I'll see you in the very next video. Peace.